The purpose of this demo is to show how you can use our newly released feature called Workflows. Let's get started by navigating to Workflows, then create Workflow. Now, a workflow is a reusable sequence of ChatGPT messages where you can define inputs to the workflow, which makes the workflow dynamic and able to automate many different types of tasks. Let's start with a simple example and say we want to create a workflow to generate a blog post. We start by adding a message that we normally would to ChatGPT to generate any blog posts, something like write a five paragraph blog post about dogs. Now, to make it dynamic, what we'll do is we'll add an input, we'll call this input topic, and we'll go ahead and move dogs from here to be just the test value of this input. And we can backspace this and insert the input. Now, when we save it, we can see the topic is here. We can click on it to see the test value, and we'll go ahead and run the step. Okay, that looks good. Now we can save it and run the workflow. Now, when you run the workflow, you'll be prompted to enter the inputs to the workflow. So this time, let's just say we want to generate a blog post about whales. We'll run this workflow. And now it's running. And we can see it returns the blog post about whales. Now, this is a very simple example to give you an idea of how workflows work. So let's do a more complex example. We'll go back to workflows, create workflow. And this time, let's say I'm a sales development representative for Snowflake and I'm doing outreach to sell Snowflake's data warehouse solution. Now, typically what I might do is I would find a uh, company that would be a good prospect and I would get their URL, maybe go look at their website, figure out uh, specifically what they do and kind of nuanced ways that we could add value uh, to that company. And so we can achieve much of the same thing uh, automatically through workflows. So what we'll do is we'll add a message and we'll say, look at the following website and list five specific ways that we could offer them value. And we'll create an input and we'll just call it company. And the test value will be uh, Vercel.com. And then we'll insert this input, save it. Um, and then here we can go to message settings and actually change some different things about each message. So first let's use GPT-4 here, and then we're gonna use assistance. Um, now an assistant is similar to custom instructions in ChatGPT to where you can kind of give the model uh, behind the scenes context. So I went ahead and made one called Snowflake SDR, which basically gives uh, more context on the value that uh, Snowflake offers, as well as how we would like uh, the model to respond when looking at a company's website and also writing emails to the company. So we'll go ahead and run this step. And we can see the model went ahead and looked at the company's website and it's uh, kind of making uh, specific examples of how Snowflake could offer value to for sale. Now for the next step, let's go ahead and add another message. And this time we're going to want to, given the, these kind of specific ways of adding value, we're going to have uh, the assistant write an, uh, an email. So we'll say given those specific ways to add value, write an outreach email to schedule a call with them. We'll save it. We'll go back and give it the same settings, GPT-4, turn assistance on, use Snowflake SDR, and run this step. We can say it provides the email subject and it's now writing the email content. Okay, this all looks good, so let's go ahead and save and run this workflow. Before that, we'll go ahead and call this Snowflake SDR Outreach. Save and run workflow. Now this time, we will give it a different company to do this for, run workflow. And we can see it returns an outreach email to send to Apollo based on what Apollo does. Um, now to do one more example, let's go back to workflows, we'll create workflow, and let's say we wanted to make a financial news summarizer. Let's add a message and say, what is the latest public market news? We'll save this and let's turn internet browsing on so the model can actually search Google and get the latest news. We use GPT-4 here and let's run this. So it's searching the internet, browsing the different results on Google, and then actually going to each of those results and, and reading what's on the web page. 
Um, now let's add one more message here and let's just say summarize that information into a daily briefing format. Uh, we'll use GPT-4. And as you can see, we basically made something that I could run every single day to uh, instantly get financial news uh, briefed to me. So I hope that gives you a good idea on how you can use workflows to automate your own work. These are relatively uh, simple workflows just meant to give an overview, but you can imagine how you could uh, automate a lot of different types of tasks, um, you know, by doing five steps, 10 steps, you know, 20 step type workflows that could do very complex things. If you have any questions or feedback, please let us know. You can just click this little question mark icon and send it in app to us, which goes to our team. Uh, thank you for watching.